Before our employees come to work in the morning, they're already juggling a large number of roles. They're a spouse. They're a religious observer. They're a family person. They're a mother or father. Maybe they're a caregiver for an aging parent. And in addition to all of those roles, they also have a house to sell and a sick pet to take to the vet and a car that needs to be fixed. And when they come to work, those jobs and responsibilities aren't left in the parking lot. They follow them through the front door. We may not be able to see them, but the people and the stresses in their lives are with our employees every day. They follow them into work, and they distract and drain energy from them and affect how they perform. The emotional stress of being in that sandwich between caring for your children and then caring for your parents, it's kind of like being in the room with your parents and being in the room with your children because you're the child, you're the parent, um, and then you're the caregiver to both. And it's, it's emotionally draining. It's something that keeps me up at night and it's something that I worry about, but I'm fortunate to work for a company where I know that I have the support in place to take care of both sides of those needs. Well-being helps people manage all those responsibilities. By helping people feel whole and by keeping them from reaching capacity, they have the energy and the mental space to deliver great performances. And by having a high level of well-being, our people also come to work with the crucial quality of resilience. When I have a strong sense of well-being, it really affects me positively at work. I, I, my productivity is up, my, my drive is up, my ambition is up. It just makes everything run a lot smoother for me. Today, we know not only that well-being matters, but that we as employers can actually affect it. It's possible for employers to drive well-being by looking at the whole person. Because the part of employees that we see, the professional part that comes to the office, is actually the smallest player in the well-being equation, the proverbial tip of the iceberg. If you dive down deep, you see this huge portion of employees' lives that exist beneath the surface that contains all the stressors that impact well-being. Having three children um, go through the college process um, really took a toll on my work. It was like being pregnant for two years. It's a long journey. As a working mother, I've had a few instances when I have been really sort of felt torn and really sort of pulled in different places. My message to all employers would be to really look at every working parent as somebody who brings with them this sort of whole life and really respect that, to trust that, and to provide all of the things to nurture not just them at work professionally, but also provide the benefits that then help them really grow and support their personal life because that at the end of the day really will make them trust you more, respect you more as an employer, and will make them give their best effort. When you do that, you've not only helped your employees, you've helped your organization because you've essentially taken this huge obstacle and pushed it out of the way. My decision to go back to school was really based on a commitment I had made to myself a long time ago. The commitment to time and, and the financial um, strain of going back to school um, is tough. There are some sleepless nights, there are some uh, long hours at work, but knowing that um, I had the support of people at work and knowing that they were encouraging me of finishing this degree and this program was reassuring to me and I was so proud of the accomplishment and um, even talking about it now I get choked up a little bit so it was really great um, to be able to do that. Employees with high levels of well-being are able to deliver the performances your organization needs and deliver them sustainably. They're not overwhelmed by the stresses of life, so when they're at work, they're engaged and they're able to focus on doing a great job. We know that with the right tools, employers not only have the opportunity to benefit from employee well-being, but to actually drive it in their organizations. And for employers, that means not just productivity, but sustained productivity. I think people who feel happy and connected in their personal life are able to come to work and to give more to their employer. The fact that my employer supports me makes me want to try harder to do well. 
and I feel like I'm respected and it makes me work harder. When things are going well on both ends, it's almost, it's this really buoyant feeling and, and I feel like those are the times where I like to kind of get creative and take things to the next level. It's those times that make me feel like I can do it all.